Hi, Stephanie Mullen, back with you to show you how to use Rampant's Overlay X plugins for Final Cut Pro 10. In this FCPX plugin tutorial, I'm going to show you the following features found in the Overlay X plugins. How to add light overlays to your edit, how to change the blend mode, how to adjust the overlay opacity, how to change the hue, how to change the tint, flipping the overlay horizontal or vertical, adding a glow, and then layering the overlays for a unique effect. Now, if you are not aware on how to install this plugin or any other rampant FCPX plugin, check out the description below where you will find a link to the plugin installation tutorial. I already have everything installed, so we're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to talk about feature number one, which is how do we add these light overlays to our video footage? Well, as you can see here, I already have some footage in my timeline, just like that. Now, to find the overlays, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, we're going to click on the effects panel button, we're going to open that up. And then you're going to scroll all the way down until you see your Overlay X plugins right here. And there are three of them. There's Gradient Overlays, Hard Light Overlays, and Soft Light Overlays. And if I click on each one of these, you'll see that there are 40 effects in each volume. And there's a nice uh, little thumbnail preview so you can see the colors for each of them. There's the Soft Light. All right, there are 40 of them. And what's really cool about these, and this is with any FCPX uh, effect that that, that pre-made or ours or whoever's, you can actually preview these really easily. So if I'm going to rewind this to, my, to the beginning of my video clip here, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to actually click on the effects and you can scrub through these like this, which is fine, but it doesn't really allow you to see um, the actual, what this, the, so this is in my time, so it's my scrubbing, so it's not actually the right timing. So if you click on this and as long as you see that little red timeline or uh, playhead right there and you press the space bar you're going to be able to see these play through and now all you have to do is press the down arrow key and it's going to start playing the effect from the beginning when and then the also the beginning of your video clip as well so we can actually quickly scroll through a lot of these to check out the animation the color how does it come on how does it come off all that stuff so a really quick way to really uh, flash through these really really fast which is really really nice so again, you can go through all of these in probably a matter of minutes, maybe just a minute, to look at all of them. So I really think that's a really cool feature, and I think that's really cool to Final Cut. And remember, like I said, you can do these with any effects that are built into Final Cut as well. So now that we've previewed all of them, how do we add them to our clip? Well, there are actually two ways. You can actually click on the overlay, you can drag it to your clip and release it. And if we play this, you'll see that it's actually there. Okay, or let me undo that. Or you can actually just select your clip here, come over here to your uh, window and double click. And then if we rewind this again, you'll see that the effect has been added. So really simple, either drag it or you can double click. Now, what if you want this, when you double click or you drag, the effect is going to be placed at the beginning of your video footage, okay? But what if you want it to start somewhere else? What if I want it here when he's coming down the wave? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another, I'm just going to add these really fast to my timeline. And I want to show you how to do that. So we said we want it to affect the overlay to start when he's coming down the wave here. So I'm going to position my playhead here. I'm going to click B and I'm going to, which is the blade tool. And I'm going to cut the uh, actual video right here. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, select that second part, double click. And now watch, you'll see that we have the overlay coming on the downhill part. So we get to actually tell it where we want the overlay to be. That's perfect. Now, another really cool thing about Final Cut is once you have the actual effect, in this case, the overlay placed onto your clip, you can take the B, the blade tool, press B, and you can cut this wherever you want, however many times you want. And then if you rewind this, you'll see that the effect now has been duplicated on each of those cuts. So that's really nice. It's kind of like it's looping, but it's looping exactly where I want it to loop. So I really think that's a really cool feature. I love that. Okay, so there we go. Let's stop that. And we're gonna roll back here to the first clip that we were using. And we're gonna talk about the second feature, which is changing the blend mode. And this is really cool. So if you go up here to the inspector, you're gonna see these are all of our controls right here. And the very first one is the blend mode. And it comes set default as screen, but you can change that from screen to add overlay or multiply. Each of these is going to give you a very, very different feel, a different effect um, for your video. So play around with these, use them however you'd like. I'm going to stick with screen for this tutorial, but again, definitely get creative and play with those as you want. All right. So 
But now that the blend mode, let's talk about the opacity. This is pretty straightforward. 100% means the opacity is full. If you take it off, the overlay is gone. And then of course, if you put it somewhere in the middle, you're gonna have this really light effect with the light, a, a light, light effect on your uh, video. So that's really neat. Now what's really cool about the opacity is that you can use keyframing up here for the effect to come on or come off how you want. So some of the um, overlays on this are going to pop on or they're going to pop off. So here we use the overlay keyframing to help that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another gap. Let's go ahead and put at the end of this. Let's go ahead and put another clip in here. And I wanna go ahead and cut this. I'm gonna use the blade tool and put this here. And I wanna show you exactly what I'm meaning. So if I click the second part of the click and I click on number five, and I play this through, you will see it pop on right there. So there was no gradual on and there's no gradual off here. So we wanna use keyframing in order to make this sort of gradually come on and then gradually come off. And the way we do that's really simple. So come back to the beginning of your clip here. We're gonna come up here to the opacity. I'm gonna turn this down to zero because we want this to come on gradually. I wanna make a keyframe here. And I'm gonna come back down here, I'm gonna click on the timeline window, and I'm gonna take my arrow keys and move my uh, playhead forward, let's just say 10 frames. So in 10 frames, I want this to be full opacity. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, just like that. And then we come back up to our opacity and we turn this up to 100%. Now, if I rewind this from the beginning, you'll see this. So it comes on in gradually, so that's perfect. Now. At the end here, you'll see it pops off. So let's look at here, right, still on, there it is. So there's the end, right? So there's our ending. Probably you can't really see it because everything's blue. So we'll start, this is the ending as the, as the bright spot is the end. So again, at this point, I wanna make a keyframe that says this is going to be 0%, right? And then I'm gonna move it back this time instead of forward, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm gonna make this back to 100. Okay, so if we watch it now, it should come on gradual, and then it should also then go off gradual. Okay, so keyframing is nice with the opacity so that it doesn't pop on or pop off. But again, you can change this to however, however way you like it, whatever works for your video. So, yay. Okay, let's go back to our original video footage here with the first clip that we did, and we're gonna turn the opacity back up to zero, or to 100, not zero, turn it back to 100. And we're gonna talk about the next feature, which is feature number four, which is working with the hue. This is really cool. You turn it on, you turn it off, on, off, pretty simple. On, you can see here it changes the colors, you can then use the dial to change these however you would like. And then you can also change the saturation so we can make it really colorful, which is crazy. Let's rewind that and look at this craziness. Again, this is where your opacity would come in because it's gonna, pop, it's gonna look like it pops on and off, so we can change that down just a little bit. And then have a nice, really cool, trippy kind of uh, color palette there. So again, that's the hue, hue on and off, very simple, so let's turn that off, all right? And that takes us to feature number five, which is gonna be the tint. Again, this is really straightforward, and I wanna turn the opacity back up to 100. And again, tint on, off, on and then turn with your the tint color you can then choose any color that you like maybe we want it to be a red color and the intensity is going to allow you to make it fully tinted so the entire frame the entire color is tinted or if you change this down you're going to be able to see that it's going to start showing some of that hue color through there so again this is a great way for you to customize what the color looks like for you and for your edit so play with that i'm going to go ahead and turn that off and that takes us to feature number six, which is flipping it. Again, this is really straightforward. So you can flip it horizontal, just like that. So we can come in from the left side instead of the right. And you can flip it vertically, so come from, come from the top or the bottom. Let's rewind that, take a look at that. So a completely different effect, however you like it. Again, these also can be turned off and turned on. So we'll turn those off. And then it takes us to our, our feature number seven, which is adding a glow. Again, this is really fun. You can make it really crazy, just like that. So you turn the glow on, definitely play with this. It's a fun little feature added. And you can work with the keyframing with this. So maybe you want a segment of your light to pop. So you could turn your keyframes on here and then you can have it go back down so it could pop and come off. So you can play around with that. That's really fun. 
And that takes us to our very last feature for this plugin, which is layering the overlays. This is a very simple way to add and create hundreds of new effects that give your video that something extra special. So if we have our video here, okay, and we want to take, let's take the glow back off. Let's not put the glow on. So we have our video here and maybe I want to add some pink to it. Okay. I want this little pink color. So all I do is make sure this is selected and double click. And you're going to see here, this was our first one, number two, and we just added number eight as well. So now we've got two overlays that are giving us a completely different feel. And because each of these are separate, you have the, your own controls for each of your overlays. So maybe I want this yellow one, which is our first one, to be not as bright. So let's turn that one down. And then we'll see that the pink and purple one is now showing through more. Or maybe the opposite. Or maybe I just want to have a glow for number eight. So I can turn that up a little bit and then that gives us something different. Okay. So you can add as many of these as you'd like. You can put two, three, four, however many effects you'd like to add on there. And they each have their own little effects panel in the inspector, which is really, really nice. So it allows you to be as creative as you want and do as many things as you want. So definitely go ahead and play with all of these adding and creating your own uh, light overlays. It's really cool. And that's that you can change the blend mode. You can work with the opacity, change the hue, change the tint, flip the effect, add a glow, and then layer the overlays. I can't believe all of this is packed into one FCPX plugin. It's so great. If you are interested in any more plugins, tutorials, and training, head on over to rampantdesigntools.com. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below. Again, I'm Stephanie Mullen with Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. Bye!